Hi, my name's Rod, and I'm going to walk you through the process of unzipping a zipped file that contains um, multiple videos of my Gemberita tap routine, or in this case, samples of my Gemberita tap routine. So what we have here on the desktop is a folder in zip format, and zip format is a special compressed format that makes it easier to send multiple files online. Unfortunately, we can't use the contents of this folder until we quote unquote unzip it, or the more technical term is extract the files. And I'm gonna walk you through that process right now. So the first thing I want you to do is on an empty area of the desktop, right click, select new, and then go to folder. All right, so we're gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna call it Gemberita. I don't recommend that Sorry about that. I don't recommend you name it the same as the uh, zip folder because you, then you might get confused. So name it slightly different. I'm going to just name it Gemberita instead of Gemberita Sample. Once you've done that, go to the zip folder and double click it. And inside the Gemberita Sample um, zip folder, I want you to find the Gemberita Sample regular folder. Right here it is. You can see the little folder icon and it says File Folder. I want you to click that, double click it and open it up. And inside it, you see two file or three files. Actually, you see a .ds store file. Well, that's essentially um, a junk file created during compression. So you don't really need that. So just ignore it. And what I want you to do with this next one, it's a Gemberita sample. It's a quick time movie. I want you to click on it. Then I want you to hold the shift button down and click on the one below it too. Now from here, you can click and drag these right over here into your new Gemberita folder that you created on the desktop and let go. That's gonna basically start the process of quote unquote unzipping the zipped file or extracting the files. Extracting seems like a better word because we're really extracting them from this folder and we're gonna put them in the other folder. That's really all that's happening. Um, so this process is gonna take a short little while and you're more than likely to get this little pop-up window that asks you, do you want to copy this file without encryption? Well, yeah, I do, because I don't really need the encryption. Who needs to encrypt these uh, sample video files? It's not necessary. Well, there's actually two in here. I know it says one found. I'm gonna click this checkbox just so that I only have to click yes once and I don't have to click it multiple times. So it's up to you what you wanna do, but I recommend to click the checkbox. Then I come over here to yes and I click yes. And once I do that, it's going to go through the process of uh, extracting these files or essentially transferring them from the zipped folder where I can't use them into the uh, regular folder, the Gemberita folder that we created on the desktop, and that way I will be able to use it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pause it, and it, well, I guess I don't need to. That happened quick enough. All right, so once the uh, transfer is done, you can X out this window. You don't need it anymore. And go to that folder you created, double click it to open it up. And inside, the first thing you see, Gemberita sample here, is a uh, QuickTime movie file. The, the little blue Q lets you know it's a QuickTime movie file. And QuickTime is just a program. If you have iTunes, more than likely you have QuickTime. Because when you download iTunes, QuickTime comes with it. If you don't have QuickTime, go to Google um, and search for download QuickTime. Follow the links and you can get QuickTime on your computer. I highly recommend it. Now, if you want to open this file and you want to make sure you open it with QuickTime, right click it, go to open with, come down to QuickTime player, click on that, and it'll pop right up. Now, when I play this video, it's going to appear choppy or out of sync. It's not because it is, it's because of the video capture software I'm using can't capture live video that well. So when you download the sample, you'll see that it looks just fine and it plays just fine. But I'll go ahead and uh, hit play here so you can get a little bit, little idea of it here. Yeah, 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 watch the sample. We got it, we got it. And there you go. Now, before I open this next one, let's uh, carry over to my second video, uh, and I'll show you how to open the other one as well and view it on your computer. So keep watching.